Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be looking at the Distril recovery software for Windows. This also works for Mac. Thank you to the folks over at Distril and Clever Files for sponsoring this video. They are also sponsoring a giveaway, so be sure to enter below in the links to the free version and the pro version will be below in the video description as well. If you watch this video after the first week it's been posted, the giveaway will have ended, but watch my other videos on my channel because I'm going to have more giveaways for you to enter and have a chance to win. So be sure you subscribe and stick around. Now back to the software, really quick, we're on their website just showing you how easy it is to install this for Mac or Windows. You have two buttons right here at the top of the web page: free download or upgrade to pro. So there's a free version, which is what we're gonna be looking at in this review video for you, and you can upgrade to pro. Why you wanna start with the free is because it works for up to 500 megabytes of data. If you have a massive file you need to recover or catastrophic failure, you're gonna to need to upgrade to that pro version, but you can see all the features in the free download version as well to make sure this is the software for you. So look at how nice their website is, great design, really easy to understand, navigate and read with embedded videos, great imagery as well to help you understand this software and all the scan options and everything else that it has for you. So now let's go ahead, let's look at the data we're gonna be deleting and trying to recover. So here are the files we're gonna be trying to recover in this video. We have an audio file, so we have an MP3, a PNG, an MP4 video file, and a text document. So this is actually on an external drive. This is on a micro SD card, so you can recover stuff off hard drives as well as USB devices, SD cards, that sort of thing. So I'm really excited to test this out for you guys and see if we can record all these files and what condition we get them back in. So first thing I do now is permanently delete these and then we're gonna run the software to try to recover them. Here we go, we're gonna delete them in three, two, one, done. Now that the files have been deleted, we have the disk drill software downloaded. Installation is super simple. You're not gonna have any trouble getting it downloaded onto your computer. Then you'll be at this nice screen right here. This will look a little different for you depending on the devices and disks in your computer and we can view them as a tree or in more detail right here. I know that the one we want to recover is this multiple card reader USB device. It's 14.8 gigabytes. Really, it's a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. But some other great features, you have some extras, some data protection or drive backup if you want. And then you can view your most recent sessions right here. So six days ago, I did run some backups to make sure that this software worked before we filmed this video. And you can load other sessions right here as well. And then in the top right hand corner, you have your help section and your settings so you can do a lot more and you can even activate the pro version right here. So now let's go ahead, let's select the device we want. So we have it selected. You can see we can view its info right here. So you can see the file system and a breakdown of other information. And now we can go ahead and recover it. So look at all the recovery methods we have. We have a deep scan and a search for lost partitions and all recovery methods. So let's leave that on right now and let's go ahead, let's search for some lost data. So guys, in less than a minute, it already shows us we have 10 files found and 100 megabytes of data. It's still scanning right now, so if we wanted, we could pause it and just go ahead and view all these items. Showing you down at the bottom left-hand corner how much time has passed as well. So you can see that it's showing you about six minutes remaining to scan everything. So we can, while it's still scanning, see this nice breakdown of pictures, video, audio, documents, archives, and one other file. We can even select this review found items right now. I have a little inkling that it already has found the files. Look at this too, we're finding way more data right now too. Now 22 files and over one gigabyte of data. That's gonna keep growing because this micro SD card has been used a lot. So there is a lot of data on there to be recovered. Now let's go ahead, let's review the found items and see if our files are already on there. So here we go, we got reconstructed, we have found files, and we have reconstructed again. So let's go ahead, let's look at the found files. Let's select this folder and see. So we have our document, our image, our video, and our audio, guys. It has found them all already, and it's still scanning for more information. So let's go ahead, let's select these four files that we deleted, and now let's go ahead and recover them. 
So I paused the scan since we already have the files recovered right here. Once you pause the scan, you can go ahead and recover the files. So let's go ahead, let's select the blue recover. And you can see it's only nine megs of data. So once you got the files identified, hit the blue recover. So here we go, it's now gonna have us put them to a specific folder. They recommend not recovering it to the drive you're scanning that has potentially already had a bunch of issues. So let's go ahead, let's send them there and check them out. So there we go, look at how quick that was. It was less than like a second, it recovered all of those files and now we can go search this and view them ourselves. So all of our found files are in the found files folder on our desktop. When you open that up, you'll be at the removable disk E, which is the drive we recover these files from. And there we go. We see our MP3, our text doc, our PNG, and our MP4 file. So let's test them all out. The MP3 works great. Really happy with that. Here's our test doc, subscribe and follow Digital David. That is exactly what it was like before I deleted it. Let's test out the image. There's our image, guys. It works great as well. This is awesome. Look at how good he looks. Nothing weird to report back there. And let's try that MP4 video. Here's my disk drill test video that we're gonna delete and then recover to see if it still works. All right, that video played back just fine as well. Everything works great. If you've accidentally deleted any file and you need to recover it, give Disk Drill a try. You got the free version and you can upgrade to the pro version. The links to that will be in my video description below. So please go ahead, check that out and do your downloading from there. Also, if it's within the first week, be sure to enter that giveaway below. If you come after the first week, the giveaway will already have been concluded. But watch my other videos for other more recent giveaways and be sure to enter those as well so you have a chance to win something from us. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Give us a follow on social media as well, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you to the guys over at Disk Drill and Clever Files, and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Thanks.